please give a very warm welcome to the uh, award-winning, can I say, Aled Roberts. Good morning. Good morning. I know the First Minister is on a very tight um, schedule, so I'll keep my comments uh, brief. And I know Ian is under similar uh, orders. Um, it has been a momentous two years for the partners who are involved um, in the Essex agenda. Um, and certainly, I don't think any of us should underestimate uh, how far we've come, and more importantly, how far we've got to go. Um, I also believe, speaking on behalf of local governments, that the Essex agenda actually may point the way forward as far as the storm that the public sector is, is likely to face over the coming years. Because I do think it shows that if uh, government moves away from micromanagement and diktat, that there is the possibility of actually ensuring that delivery uh, is much enhanced. <coughs> And certainly, it would be my hope on behalf of the Welsh Local Government Association that the recent concordat that's been signed between the Welsh Assembly Government and Welsh Local Government may show that that is the way forward. Of an effective working relationship between the partners throughout Wales, and obviously in the case of housing, very much involving the RSL sector. I'm pleased, obviously, this morning on behalf of local government that the First Minister has recognised the value of this way of working and his suggestion, obviously, that it can be used um, in other policy areas. For local government, one of the most welcome changes that has come from the Essex Review um, is the recognition that local authorities, working obviously in partnership with registered social landlords, should set the local priorities for housing investment. I know when I became a uh, housing spokesperson about four and a half years ago, um, coming really as the new kid on the block, knowing very little, I have to say, about housing, that I didn't really understand why the Welsh Assembly Government seemed to spend a lot of time measuring the size of rooms, etc., on social housing grants, but didn't appear to be spending a lot of time actually determining strategy. And I think that's one of the, the lessons from the Essex Review, and that's why, um, unlike the, the person who came up to me in Wrexham Market uh, on Monday, who obviously been listening to the, the referendum uh, debate that's been going on uh, this week and said, I suppose that you'll be actually in the, in the no camp. And I said, no, I certainly won't be in the no camp. I can sort of have my little criticism at times. But the reality is that devolution should be going down to the lowest possible level. And I think the whole Essex agenda shows that devolution, if we work at it uh, in Wales, can actually uh, succeed. A great deal of very positive change has emerged from the Essex Review and I would like to thank the Assembly Government and also on a personal basis the Deputy Minister for Housing who commissioned the review in the first instance and more importantly despite perhaps some of our suspicions ensured that the review as Sue said initially wasn't left on the shelf to gather dust but we actually got on and did something about it. I'd also like to thank Ian um, who's obviously coming to the end of his term uh, as chair of CHC. Uh, Ian probably didn't realise how busy uh, the whole agenda was going to be when he actually uh, assumed that role. But obviously, I think the one thing we have to do is be very positive with regard to um, our relationships. And obviously, as Rodri's already said, thanks to Sue, not only for producing what was a very valuable report, but also for her continued involvement in discussions which included um, her attendance at yet another WLGA session uh, last week. I think though that we, um, one of the, the, the things about sort of growing up um, in, a, in a mining community is that you have a very large extended family and um, you're always given um, advice. One piece of advice that I don't think my grandmother uh, got right at the end of the day was that we had quite a long discussion about tea or he, because I always called her tea, and she thought, as in the to and vu in, in French, that as a mark of respect I should always um, call her he rather than tea. It also reminds me of a situation where a former uh, Labour politician in our area, and I don't know whether there are any plans for uh, the first minister to follow suit, actually became um, a peer of the realm. And he'd, he'd grown up in our community and he used to preach at our chapel about three times a year. And he was actually 
uh, I think he came to our chapel about a fortnight after his first appearance in the House of Lords. And everyone in the village knew him as Tomb Beale. So I'm perhaps giving a few uh, secrets away there. But um, I'll never forget that um, he seemed to think that people that he'd grown up with all his life um, should actually now start calling him Lord such such. Um, and he made a point in his address to the chapel that, um, you know, he was very disappointed that people hadn't shown him the respect that uh, he deserved. And one of the old uh, colliers who was a, a deacon at our chapel um, said, um, well, thank you uh, for your uh, message as always, but the one thing um, I would like to say is there is only one Lord in this house. <laughs> um, one good thing about devolution in Wales is that regardless of whatever your political persuasion, I think it rather strange that throughout Wales, our first minister or prime minister in Welsh actually is known by his first name. Uh, not something that would happen in very many countries, but I think unlike the advice of the ennobled peer, and unlike the advice of my grandmother, um, I think the fact that we do call Prodry by his first name shows the extent to which he's admired across the political spectrum and the um, endearment really that's felt towards him. So, um, turning to the language of heaven, can I, can I just lead Gair Gan the Minochi Umbriolyad Hapis here at Mulquisibeth here yet here at the Nian Dave Hanig, Valpad Neriad, or Wheel of the Colonna? Thank you.